Hey friends, before we get started on our activity today, I wanted to share a story with you that I think will help us understand. It's called One Good Deed. It's by Terry Fields. Even on sunny days, Lancaster Street seemed dark and gloomy. Neighbors did not smile at each other or talk to each other or help each other. But one day, as Jake climbed his mulberry tree to pick its ripe fruit, he saw old Miss Thompson outside her house next door. Suddenly, he had a thought he'd never had before. I bet she's sad. She can't climb trees. I could take her some of these delicious mulberries. When Jake arrived, Miss Thompson was surprised. She was delighted. She had enough fruit to make two mulberry pies. Then she had a thought she'd never thought before. I loved getting these mulberries. I bet Mr. Riley next door would like one of my pies. When Mr. Thompson arrived, when Mrs. Thompson arrived, Mr. Riley was surprised. Mr. Riley was delighted. As he ate the delicious pie, he looked out the window and watched the kids next door playing ball. Suddenly, he saw the ball land on the roof of his garage. Then he had a thought never had before. I bet I could help them. I could take my ladder and get their ball. When Mr. Riley handed them back their ball, Jeffrey and Joshua were surprised. They were delighted. As they tossed it back and forth, they saw Mr. Lee hobbling on crutches to his front door. They had a thought they'd never thought before. Mr. Lee can't rake the leaves in his yard, but we could. When the boys arrived with their rakes, Mr. Lee was surprised. Mr. Lee was delighted. Soon they were joined by Sammy Cohen from next door carrying a rake. My computer is broken, so I can't finish my homework. I'll help you rake. Then Mr. Lee had a thought he'd never thought before. I'm good at computers. Maybe I could fix Sammy's computer. The Cohen, when Mr. Riley arrived, the Cohens were surprised. The Cohens were delighted. And before you knew it, the computer was up and running again. When Mrs. Cohen sat down to check her email, she looked out her window and saw Ashley from next door, riding a rusty old bike. Then she had a thought she'd never thought before. We have a practically new bike that Sammy has outgrown. It would be perfect for Ashley. When Mrs. Cohen arrived with the new bike, Ashley was surprised. Ashley was delighted. She rode her new bike around the neighborhood, waving, smiling, and calling hello to all her neighbors. The neighbors were surprised. The neighbors were delighted. Everyone waved and smiled right back. Soon, even on gray days, Lancaster Street seemed warm and sunny. How had that happened? No one knew. Not even Jake realized that it all began with a basket of mulberries and one mitzvah, one good deed. Now, let's go experiment and see how one good deed
can make a big difference. Hey friends, we're back for our final activity for this month. And, and it's a science experiment. You should have a bowl of water and your bag handy. In your bag, you'll find all kinds of odd things like marshmallows and rocks and some bird seed and rice and pennies and even a little bit bigger rock. We just listened to a story that talked about good deeds and how little things that we do can have a ripple effect. They can lead to other good things. We can investigate the way that works with a science experiment. What happens when you plop something into water? If I were to put this rock in the water, what would happen? You'd have ripples. That's right. Do you think this rock is going to make a bigger ripple or these rocks? I bet you have a good guess, but I bet you didn't realize that lots of little things can make the same size ripple as one big thing. So I want you to take a minute and try it out and see what makes the biggest ripple. And maybe even notice that lots of little things can make a big difference in what we do. I hope you had fun experimenting and I hope you realize that you don't have to do great big things to make a difference in the world around you. Just small, kind acts can make a big difference. So keep being kind.